this is Tutorials for You Official. Today I'll be um, reviewing the Bush, the Bush 1.1 watt DVD home cinema kit. So first of all, it has 105 watts output, and it has the in not internet. It has the radio on, as you can see, and the USB input for slideshows. <coughs> and it has DVD Dolby. A uh, compact disc. That's where you put your CDs in. That. That's what it looks like. I put all the I put all the speakers in yet, but that will come later. Um, that's the Discord. Uh, the remote controls and batteries included. Yep, it's just got batteries included. I don't know how much it costs originally, but it might be on here how much it costs. Um, hmm. no, I don't have a, uh, have a clue when it was when it was on. Right, first of all, here's the base of it. It's um, 30 watts, I think it is, but it's actually pretty good. It has good size speakers. There's speakers, and there's more speakers there. There's. More speakers on here. One, two, three, four. four plus the front. Well, it's full of these speakers and the front ones, wherever it is. I'll find it. Um, so, but this is front. No, that's not there. No, that's not the front one. Ah, uh, I think we miss. No, I think we are actually. We're missing one of my front speakers. No. Um. Anyway, let's just away from that idea. Front speakers, obviously, oh, well, it is here somewhere, but I can't find it. So, um, first of all, you can turn all the bass. Here's the control. If you when you get a simple speakers, change volume. If I just play it, it's quite good sound. <laughs> If I press speaker, it comes up with center, front left, or front right, and then sub, that's on 10, it, it gets louder. <laughs> so it's good sound quality. So wait, one of these is the front, it has to be. Wait. Now I'll show you the back of it. Um, the back of this player. Okay, um, this is the back here. That's where you will obviously put up all the speakers to. That's where the inputs go. So that's if you have a Bush TV like mine, and then your sides like this, you see, and you only have these two, and you don't have red, yellow, and blue button for them. And you don't have um, an input for the original circuits from digital, so plugins you can get for them, I think. But I'll see that in the next video I'll do, and I'll put it in the comments below. Right, um, so, this is a, so it's, pretty, it's actually it's good surround sound. When it's properly up and everything, I'll put it on my room. See, I've done, there's my old speakers, that's. 100 watt base per speaker, and then that's just a 50 watt, I think. I don't know. Right. So, good. And then, if you if I turn on my TV, yeah, and then I'll show you what the channel looks like for it. You go there, it says, there's the bus. There's that channel on there, see, and if you...
tidak buat Right, oh wait, you can wait to, I don't know how about the device goes too well. See that's that's what's up when it turns off too. Right, so thanks for watching this tutorial on real life DVD home system. It also plugs in. Right, sorry about that. It always, it, it still plugs in to your. It can plug into your TV, but I'll do that in the setup mode of this. So thanks for watching. This is tutorials for your official. I'll be coming on soon. Bye.